Hey guys, I've got a short video for you today. I'm not showing off anything new or anything completely different, but just some minor uh, updates and modifications I've made to uh, two of my uh, sabers that I already own. Uh, first of all, um, you may, may recognise from one of my previous videos, this is the uh, Saber Forge Vigilant. Um, I've made some just some co cosmetic upgrades, uh, sorry, updates to it, uh, just to make it look a little bit more like the prop used in uh, Star Wars uh, Attack of the Clones by Ki Mundi. All I've done to this really is just a bit of detailing. Firstly, I have uh, recolored some of the Greeblies, such as these uh, knob styles and uh, what have you on here. Um, the, although the original sort of prop, only this one here is gold and this one is silver, I thought having them both would just sort of uh, would be better. It looks better, it contrasts against the silver a lot better and just stands out more. Um, this used to be just a little metal bump, but I actually unscrewed it and took it out and replaced it with this little uh, LED. It doesn't illuminate, it's just a, it's just a uh, an LED that I coloured in to uh, match the amber blade, the amber LEDs that I have in this. Uh, we've got the grips here. Also the detailing in all of the grooves. Uh, what I did really is very very simple. Um, I just I have a, a complete set of uh, all different kinds of uh, comic book marker pens, and they are incredibly difficult to um, rub off once they're dried. So what I did is I've uh, detailed in all these uh, all these grooves and uh, markings along here, and then after that I sprayed it with a, a type of enamel so that it won't rub off even if you sort of tried. It will come off if you really tried, but just handling it. Uh, twirling it, just handling it as you would a, uh, a lightsaber prop, it won't come off in your hands. Once that layer had dried, I then kind of, uh, I've weathered it, kind of, uh, what I did is I got a, a shoe brush and some shoe polish and I sort of spackled and rubbed along the, the hilt to create this kind of, um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but on the, uh, on the hilt this kind of textured effect. It's kind of a, a worn, kind of brushed metal kind of effect on it, especially up here towards the end. You see it there. Um, and then took the brush, rubbed off the excess, and sprayed it down with enamel again. And it created this really nice effect. And it actually kind of uh, matches the prop uh, a little more closely because um, the prop isn't, uh, at least in, in photos that I've seen, isn't the uh, kind of bright, this sort of like light silver. It's more kind of, it's more darker like this. So it matches it a little bit more accurately. There's a few bits that are different from the prop. We're missing some markings along here. And like I said, this is actually silver on the prop. But other than that, it was just a quick cosmetic job. And um, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It looks much, I think it looks much better. People like the... Not to say that the uh, the original Saber Forge design is, is bad at all, not at all. I loved the uh, original design, but I thought I'll try something different and just do a little bit of detailing, and I'm really pleased with how it came out, and I think it looked great. Now, the second modification, or the second Saber, is on my Graphic Saber. Now, those who follow me on Instagram may have seen some of the uh, modifications that I've done to the crystal chamber inside. And what I'll do is I'll undo this. I haven't unscrewed this like in a previous video where I had uh, loosened it previously, but I will slide just slide the uh, the clamp up, and I will unscrew the end. Like so go carefully take it off. Okay, what I have done to the crystal chamber, I will put it like that for the time being, and I will zoom in. Before we had a tiny little LED sort of unit inside and uh, it wasn't really bright enough even when I replaced the batteries in it, some tiny little button cells, um, just one LED wasn't really cutting it. So I took the whole section off, it kind of, I was, I wanted to carefully remove it but I ended up kind of <laughs> brute forcing it and it kind of snapped off but that worked to my advantage because it gave me the opportunity to rebuild this section and um, and uh, re sort of design it with all these different pipes and detailing, which has benefited me really. I think it looks much better than it did before. This is just a simple three LED miniature torch that I put on the end, and it's got a nice kind of machined 
finish grip finish to it and I think it kind of suits the internal mechanism style more than what I had before with the coil and um, it is much brighter and I'm just going to pull the blinds down a little bit just to get, make it a little bit darker in here so that you uh, can see it a bit better. There we go. Just pull it down. And because it's just a torch on the end it's just a simple click in and there we go it illuminates. It's, uh, you can't it's still a little bit too bright in here but it is much brighter than it was before when it had just had the singular LED in it. I also um, coloured the lens of the LED torch inside. It's actually a dark blue and the crystal itself is a very light blue but it creates this kind of two-toned effect really. It's uh, darker at the bottom and lighter at the top and uh, it creates a cr pretty nice effect actually when you sort of look down the crystal it's got a really nice uh, kind of a glow to it. And uh, this time the batteries are way more easily accessible. Before I kind of, not glued them in, but it was a bit of a hassle getting the batteries out. But because this is just a simple LED torch, this section here just unscrews and a little unit slides out. And it has the, uh, the, the three button cells in it. Much easier to change and uh, way more convenient to uh, keep the batteries healthy and replacing them with fresh batteries. And that's about it really. I just wanted to do a quick update video on... Uh, what I've been doing recently. I have a new project on the way, which I'm actually pretty excited about, which I will, of course, be doing a video on and sharing sharing uh, my progress on the project on my Instagram. But um, for now, uh, just a small update, really. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like my video, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. And uh, if you want to see more photos of uh, these uh, lightsabers or my extended collection, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a uh, link in the description box. Thank you for watching.